What's going on everybody, Damo Senpai here, and I've been having the most trouble trying to find combatants will be dispatched all morning. It's not popping up on Funimation right now, so I hurried up and, you know, had to do what I had to do to get the episode, and I watched it. And let me tell you, it is the perfect mixture of everything I love. Mind you, it's from the creator of Kanasuba, so of course it was gonna be hilarious. Of course you were gonna have a scientist version of Megumin. Of course you were gonna have a competent version of Kazuma. Man, this anime so far, first episode in the books, love it. But before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, make sure you go down below, hit that red subscribe button, join me on my way to 3,000 subscribers. I made a TikTok. <laughs> I made a TikTok to promote my anime videos, you know, just to promote my videos and do stuff like that. So you can go over to there, the at Damo Senpai TV, you'll find me. Go ahead, follow that up. Or if you're coming over from TikTok, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. You know, you're gonna help me get my way back to 3K, you're gonna help me get to 10K. That's the Big boy go. Now, this anime starts off absolutely hilarious. We meet combat agent number six, who pretty much has a love interest right off the bat. I think her name is Astaroth, if I'm not mistaken. We meet Astaroth, the Ice Queen, and Belial, the Great Flame. You guys know where they're going with these names. And they're trying to send my boy off to do some weirdo mission, taking over other planets that look like Earth. Now, like I said, combat agent number six has a love interest off the bat, and that is Astaroth, the Ice Queen. She is beautiful. She is bad oh my god they know how to drag me into an anime you know what i'm saying they know how to grab my attention with a beautiful beautiful woman such as astaroth and, and belly all as well they god damn but that's not even the funny part to me we got lilith <laughs> lilith the dark and she is the scientist bro this is megumin bro period right this is megumin the scientist and i absolutely adore it she also has alice who is this little blonde haired android who is gonna help my boy combat agent number six take over another plane mind you we don't even know what his real name is maybe <laughs> maybe combat agent number six is his real name i hope we figure out his real name what if it's you know they work for this company called the kisaragi corporation what if his name is what if he's kisaragi bro and he don't know because they had to do some sort of weird stuff to his brain uh let's continue so they hop in this transporter lilith is just like ah man yeah you know it's a hundred percent success rate combat agent number six can't even believe it he's just like bro what wait what don't tell me it's in the singles and of course they look away and just transport him to this world. They drop down on some demon dogs, some metal demon dogs. They gotta fight off these demon dogs. Alice is being, she's being mean, not trying to help my boy fend for himself. And she's like, look, you spend some of your evil points. Give me a shotgun. Take back what you said about calling me a rust heap and I will help you out. This anime is ridiculously entertaining from front to back, right? I can't keep stressing that enough. So here pulls up this girl named Snow, another voluptuous bad right pulls up out of nowhere starts talking in some weird language because they're on a different earth alice has a built-in basically translator into her head into that chip that they got and she translates the language gets them into this kingdom and then they get introduced to the princess whose name is tillis i believe her name is tillis if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong in the comments her name is tillis and she by far is sneakier than we know so let's rewind just a little bit, you know, backtrack. Agent Six finds out what Snow is really after. And you know, she's all about money and glory and fame and all that stuff more than anything. So she will use anything that they do to launch her career further than what it is. So we get in, we meet Tillis. Tillis is like, man, we're fighting against some demon army. They're gonna try to take over. We need y'all help. And you know, Agent Six and Alice, their main goal is to take over anyway. They're trying to build a base anyway they're gonna secure this place as a base eventually that's what i'm thinking they're gonna do funnily enough they get to the courtyard and they see this giant cube and what makes this giant cube so funny is that it produces rain when they ask but it's been broken for a while and they don't know how to fix it alice being the amazing android that she is is just like yo i'll whip it back up into shape in 
no time. Alice hops on, fixes the cube, and it has an old Windows 98 startup sound, which absolutely destroyed me, bro. It absolutely destroyed me. I found that to be ridiculously hilarious, and <laughs> this is what makes it even better. They needed a password, right? They needed a password reset. And what does... What does Agent 6 make the password? <laughs> Dick Festival, bro. Completely had me floored, bro. I was floored. I could not believe it. So this gets them in trouble because Princess Tillis hears it. So they get, they get tied up, brought in front of the king. This is where things get a little bit more informational because we find out that the princess basically controls this country because the king immediately agreed with anything that Tillis wanted because Tillis was just like, yo, we don't have to execute them or kick them out the city. I want, him, I want Combat Agent 6 to work for me specifically. Snow wasn't having that. Agent 6 used what she said against her talking about oh so i just got hired in by your boss and you're trying to kill me remember you said you're gonna take full responsibility for anything that we do <laughs> tillis hears that and demotes her so now technically agent six and alice rank above her and now they're gonna be working together from here on out i thoroughly enjoyed this episode i don't know about y'all if you loved it make sure you let me know in the comment section below if you're a fan of Kanasuba, let me know in the comment section below as well and hopefully it continues to give me the laughs that I received today because man they were by far some of the best laughs I've had in a while this is one of the ones that's going to consistently pop up on my channel I hope y'all know before we get out of here if you are new to the channel and you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet which I think majority of you have make sure you go down below hit the subscribe button join the boy on his quest to 3,000 subscribers also all of my socials are in the description make sure you follow me on twitter follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram twitter at damo senpai link is in the description tiktok at damo senpai tv instagram at damo senpai y'all find me i'm one of a kind that being said it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video